My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Monster Train, Random Clan, Random Clan, and a Covenant 13 to you as well. Okay, what do we got? No melting remnant. Don't wrinkle my brain again! My brain's still wrinkly. Okay, uh, has the power to cleanse all units of effects that don't benefit the Seraph. We've also got Urchin Spines already in the base deck. Apply spell weakness 2 to all enemy units. Well, we're probably going to look to consume removal and double stack that. Uh, we've got two Prismal Dusts in here. And two Helical Crystalluses. Helical Crystallis is actually also a really, really, really good pickup there. <laughs> Wonder if you can tell which one I don't think is a good pickup by how little I said about it. Uh, we're not going to eat that many Morsel units here, if I had to guess. So I'm going to take the ab uh, Abandoned Entumbro. Eh, it's just an extra Morsel every time. Damage spells cast on this floor cost negative one. Okay. I think I can probably kill the boss without needing the Frostbite yet. So I can try and find something else and let that scale instead. As long as we set up high here, we can wait for Helical Crystalluses to kill the Frontliners, and then we can kill the Backliners with the Spikes ourselves. Also, we have the ability to just sack an Ansumbra Morsel. If we wanna. We don't. But we could. But we don't, though. But just to clarify, if we wanted to, though, you best believe we could. Uh... Okay, we'll train on this floor. Okay, that pretty much all came down exactly like I thought it would. Let's go for that, and then... Touch. Then that. And touch. Um... Probably gonna defend you better than I'll defend... Uh, actually, hang on, it really depends. Let's wait. Let's see. Ooh, okay. Giving you Divine Shield is really good here. Makes it... Ooh. What if I just give four more stacks of Divine Shield here? Yeah, sure. Do it. A lot of turns worth of battle there. Hmm. Got two Helical Crystalluses left in the deck. Unfortunately, didn't draw any of them here. Let's use a damage in the front line. Put that there. Frozen Lance you. Now I'll give you the spell weakness, so if I draw either of the Helical Crystalluses next turn, we have a good time anyway. There we go. That's how I figured we were going to be taking them out anyway. Very glad that we got the right draws at the end there. Ooh, another Helical Crystallis though. They're the right, you know, balance of energy to damage for me, personally. Take another one, sure. Space Prism. I mean, that does give me the space for more morsels on the same floor. Also gives me the space for more encant triggers on the same floor, which actually seems quite likely. Oh no, that's an Overgorger. Oh, you see an Overgorger this early, you have to take an Overgorger this early, don't you? Isn't that how it goes? Isn't that how it always goes? If you see an Overgorger early, you've got to take an Overgorger early. Fine, fine, fine. I'll have two floors. I'll have an Overgorger floor. I'll have an encant trigger floor. I'll have a bottom floor as well. Other things, maybe. Who knows? We'll see. So many of my spells want to be upgraded. I yeah, I have to go over this way. There are so many Stygian units. I won right now. Hello, God of the Unnamed. Good to see you. God of the Unnamed. Love having you around, God of the Unnamed. <laughs> what do you mean I'm saying your name too commonly, God of the Unnamed? I don't know what you're talking about, God of the Unnamed. Uh, very happy to see it. So we've got a bottom floor is going to be Encant with the Tethys behind it. Cast spells, try and clear things that way. And then the top floor is going to be the Overgorger. The Overgorger reading as many morsels as it can every single turn. Just trying to get mad buff. But what do I do right now? Negative one cost to any of these Helical Crystalluses seems good. But they also, if I get the second level of the Conduit Titan Bane, 
they will already be zero cost on that floor with that. Um, and also, I want to leave positions in them for giving them plus tens instead. I might give a Shade Splitter a, a, an Ember Stone right now because I'm not going to be removing them for a while. Usually, I have a good holdover target, but it's too early to have one, I think, right now. There we go. Plus 10 magic power goes on either of the Helical Crystalluses. And then I will actually Ember Stone to cost reduce another Shade Splitter. So now we're looking for Morsel Makers, Morsel Masters, anything that is going to put more Morsels behind my Overgorger. Another unit draft, regardless of how much damage this does to me. Like, if it does 59 damage, I'm fine with it, because this unit draft right now could be another Encant trigger to go on the same floor as the Guard of the Unnamed and Teth's Titan Bane, or it could be more Morsels for the Overgorger. And either of those make or break... Eh, not, not necessarily make or break. That might be a little hyper, uh, uh, hyperbolic. They definitely heavily, heavily instruct the success of this run. Or the likelihood of success in this run. That's an unfortunate one. Specifically that we still haven't gotten a Helical Chrysalis with three in the deck. So we had no ability to get through all of them. our first. I'm not going to draw back into these Sidon's Burdens anytime soon. I think it's time to get a Train Seer down there just for a little bit of extra damage. Yeah, so what we're going to take? One... Five, five damage from that line getting past. I mean, five damage isn't much at all. I know I've got another Helical Crystallis in this deck. There it is, and it's the upgraded one. Nice. Mm, uh, yeah, another base, thank you. Hmm. I don't want good morsels, I just want morsels for the overgorger i don't need the making of morsel here i need something else actually all of those are pretty bad for us Ooh. really annoyingly none of these fit the alloyed construct is going to be fighting for consumptions with the overgorger which is exactly what you don't want uh is there anything to dupe at the moment Space Prism actually isn't a bad dupe. I'll take it. It's another Stygian unit, so this could be... Ugh, could have been a good incant trigger. It wasn't, but it could have been. Before I do anything, I'll go to the Concealed Caverns, though. Do I want to copy a card five times? No. No. Fine. I, I hate when I don't have a card here when I get this event. So I will copy that once and I will probably copy it twice. And now I would now I definitely don't need to go for extra capacity anymore. In fact, I almost certainly go for extra draw now. Yeah. Especially considering I might also go conduit again later on Tethys. That only explodes once, so I can put you there and then put the Tethys behind, because I know that next turn I'm drawing my my Titan's Guard. Because I have to. Literally wasn't possible to not to. Do we sack another one? Yeah. 
we do end up sacking another one, but it's in a different line later. Great opener. Put you all up there. Oh, lovely. We're taking a fair bit of damage in this midline right now, so I am keeping an eye on that. I'm going to use the Urchin Spikes here, so we're not going to deal any damage to Daedalus until we can throw a Helical Crystallis at them now. I should probably throw out a Prismal Dust. Maybe we throw it on the Overgorger. Yeah, just try and give the Overgorger a ridiculous amount of damage shields. And that's how we plan on getting through the boss, I guess. That's fine. It's a totally reasonable plan. Still gotta pop all the morsels behind the Overgorger. And then sack the trains. Uh. I want to train you for some extra damage up here. How many morsels am I likely to get in the next hand? Almost certainly not going to get three. Sure. These had to be... Oh, I did end up in a Oh, never mind. I was going to likely get three because the uh, the abandoned Entumbra. That's my bad. That's my mistake right there. Okay. And then the Overgorger is our boss killer. We also want the enemy to survive one round of combat here so that we get the morsels. Chomp chomp. Nice. We need some minion upgrades on that Overgorger. Multi-strike in particular would be great. Trample though. Trample though? Yeah, Trample, though. It's going to get a ridiculous amount of damage. Trample, though. In Cant, apply Sap 1 to enemy units. It's exactly the kind of thing that we want to put behind the Guard of the Unnamed. I'll take you. Uh, It was Draw, right? It was Draw closely followed by Energy. We'll take Draw right now. We may end up taking Draw again later, depending on uh, how many cost reductions and stuff like that we happen to go for here. Large stone. Uh, let's look at Morsel Master. Whenever you summon a Morsel unit on this floor, create a copy. That gives us the ability, okay, with no extra capacity, Gorger. We put three space prisms on the top floor, which is completely fine. Guard of the Unnamed, Lodestone, and Tethys are already only four capacity by themselves. Uh, so all the space prisms go on the top floor. It is five capacity, eight capacity. It's four capacity just for the Morsel Master and the Overgorger. And then playing two more morsels fills up the floor with four morsels. Or I put out those space prisms and I just look for other ways to generate morsels and I don't get another minion in my deck. I'm actually more comfortable without the minion in my deck. It's very limiting on how I play. I'll take the encant for more armor on the God of Your Names here. Then reroll. Quick. I'll definitely give the plus 25 health to the Lodestone Totem so it is more comfortable against sweep. You know what? Yeah, Overgorge gets quick. Especially because I'm giving it trample later. Yeah, it gets quick. All right. Damage spells cast on this floor cost negative two. Sweep applies spell weakness to the attacked units. It feels like that sweep is about to become much more important. Can't necessarily turn it down. Oh, I hate that. I hate that that's what I felt had to be done, but I felt that did have to be done. One boss enemies gain multi strike. Pitch conduit, that's not a problem. Pyre Master. Your 
pasting them. The problem is killing those initial clipped guardians. I think I can do it. I think I'm gonna have to be clever about how I play, but I think I can do it. Mmm. Do I or do I not set up the Overgorger this turn? I don't think I can. Alright, we need to think a lot here. Tethys does need to go down on the bottom floor behind the Guardian Unnamed. That has to happen. Yeah, here's the problem. See, if I don't play the Lodestone Totem and then start playing spells, we lose. Try and do as much as we can here. Um, put some put damage shield on that floor. Overgorge can still fit up there. I do just want to cast as many spells as I can on this floor is the thing, but I guess I'm taking no damage this turn. So it's probably time to go. Do you need space for more than- No, you know what? I'm gonna give one extra capacity down here as well. Saves more HP on the Guard of the Unnamed. Okay. Just have to be constantly casting spells. I'm even gonna give more damage to the bottom line instead of the top line. It's the trample I really wish I had a good target for. Huh? Yeah, at the end of the turn they're gonna eat, get eaten, but by who? Play that one out as well. Mmm, Eclipse Guardian's about to be a really problem. A uh, really problem. Gonna be a really problem? Oh, no. I'll pop that on that floor just in case I save it with a conduit later. In fact, I will. Start sapping up your initial hits that would have otherwise gone against the damage shield. And now we're stacking a lot of spell weakness on the boss. So now basically any of my spells will get this kill. But especially this one. 805 damage, two times. Train stewards gain damage shield two and multi strike one. I still have all of the train stewards in the deck. I mean. But they're about to go. Ooh, 
Guardian Stone. Great. Our bottom floor, our encant floor, is now sorted. Amber Cash is a good way to get a bunch of encant triggers on the same turn. Helps us kind of take off. Uh, minion upgrades. Minion upgrades. Overgorge just still wants multi strike. Guardian Stone still wants health. There's also double removal and HP over there. But the other side is the Merchant Trinkets. I mean, obviously, like, you know, Incant abilities trigger two times, Gorge abilities trigger two times. Both of those are absolutely insane for us. Do I have anything in my deck that I would like to dupe in the next area? Not really. So maybe I want to go somewhere to get... No, but I'm not going to want to dupe any of my minions either. Plus two capacity on the middle floor isn't awful. Plus seven energy on the first turn of battle is, though. Let's see what's in here. Yeah, I don't think I have the ability to take either of those still. Enemies gain negative one to their damage could also be pretty good here because we're not relying on the enemies hitting me. And in fact, if they don't hit me, I get to keep a lot more of my uh, damage shield triggers. But there aren't that many damage shields in this deck. There's two capacity on the middle floor. Does that even affect us enough to want it? There's Guardian Unnamed, Guardian Stone, Lodestone, Tethys. I, I actually don't know if I want any of these. Like, I was looking for something there that would overhaul the run, but I didn't find it. The reason I looked ahead is because now I know that I have nothing I want to do for the next area, so I know I'm going to a Merchant of Steel in the next area, which downgrades the value of this Merchant of Steel. Uh, <laughs> Unit Center with uh, the Spell Shield too. Can I actually still do that? I might still be okay. I definitely still want the money. Okay. Let's see. Titan. Lodestone Totem as well. Throw it a single ability, and now none of them deal damage. Yeah, the sweep is really useful here, as well as the sap. So the goal here is to start getting the Clipped Guardian to a value that the Overgorger can kill in a single turn. We're very close, but not there yet. I think we might have to go Frozen Lance Helical Crystallis on here. It's the only way to get that kill. Means that I can't play the Trample, but the Trample isn't super necessary right now while I have Sweet. Trample's about to get more necessary in a turn's time, though. Actually, it might not. Yeah, it doesn't, because we managed to kill the Frontliner there. Uh, then you can have more lifesteal... Those excavated embers we actually wanted later, but I'm never going to get back to the Miz Cycle if I don't cast them now. One, two, three. Pop 
Both train stewards down here, and then urchin spikes. Obviously got to give you trample. Great. And the spell weakness on you by now should be pretty ridiculous. Yeah, that kills you. Let's see, if I just put down more minions, would that be... No, it's not. Okay. I'm gonna take a hard no on those, thank you. Gem Trove looks really good. Giving a bunch of Divine Shield to our midline and then just turning around and throwing three uncommon or rare morsels on the top line seems real nice to me. Uh, I can also cost reduce it two times in different shops. Okay, let's find Multi Strike. Huh? None of these are Multi Strike? Um. That's. Uh, let's look at units gain an extra upgrade slot. That's real good for us right now. Um. Although I still don't think I have anything I want to give these to. Uh, yeah, not really. I'm looking for more transformative minion upgrades than that. I have literally only one more shop to find them in, but gosh, I hope I find them there. And we also need more powerful spells. It feels like everything this deck wants, it is still waiting for. But I also recognize how good this deck is at the moment. It's a weird line to walk. It's a weird one, certainly. Throw that out right now. Oh, gosh. Sure is taking a long time to actually get to any of the uh, minions here. Sure, I got some of them in this deck somewhere. Also didn't have the energy to play Trample last turn either. Love it if all my minions cost a little less. Oh, because you're quick. Yeah. The Overgorge's health is also awful. Maybe I overestimated how much I can rely on an Overgorger. Certainly feeling like the case right now. Thankfully, an Encant Floor is very strong, so running an Overgorger as a secondary to it doesn't feel as bad as it certainly could, I guess. Hmm. Well, there's your trample. It's not gonna do as much as I'd like, but so I'm gonna have to cast another spell there. Supplement it a little. Ooh, yeah, that 
feels like I've uh, put a lot of faith in an Overgorger right now. Overgorger can't be a frontline, I guess. But good luck making it anything else. Wish I could play Gem, uh, gem Trove now, but I just can't. Had to play the Helical Crystallis on the top floor. Yes, I'm very pleased, at least, with my midline. Four spell weakness, so big helical solace first. Well, I might not have a helical crystallis in my next hand, so I think it's about time to see whether or not this is a, um, uh, anything. <laughs> Because it might be nothing. Yeah, no Helical Crystallis. But we're doing 602 with just three, uh, three damage shields. It's not bad. And also, knowing that the enemy gets to attack me here. I also could have used Rubble Morsels to chump block the first attack, but that only would have been like 10 more health, right? Um... But in particular here, I wanted them all to get eaten for the sake of the overgorges overgorging. Shroud Spike is huge right now. Gives us the ability to fix so much about the overgorger in a single card. Blazing Bolts is just, like, really good damage from midline, though. And giving it hold over... No, but I'd have to upgrade it two times before I could give it hold over. And I am going for Merchant of Steel in the final area. Merchant of Magic in the next area won't have the ability to give it hold up for that reason. Uh, Alright, I'll take the Shroud Spike then. And now I think I'd take the extra energy. I thought we could get away without it, but no. No, 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 no. Uh-uh, on that one though. I have so many spell upgrades I want. But. If I want to get more powerful quickly, it is... Relics is how you do it. Well, when you summon the second unit during your turn, get three energy. That all of our energy problems are now solved. Really wish I knew that I was going to encounter that. Uh, let's get these two train seals out of here now. Morsels gaining damage shields is nice. Drawing extra card is also nice. I just don't think either of them are the thing that win us this run, right? I think double incant triggers, double gorge. I honestly think it's too late for double gorge. I think it's double incant triggers. Uh, um, sigiled steel, because sigiled steel is just always incredible. See, most of my morsels go on a floor that I don't do most of my combat on, so I don't care about the damage shields and the morsels as much. Fine. I'm just going to draw an extra card every single turn with that. Now I'm going to walk away from this. Upgrade the champion to gain damage costs negative two. I mean, we already have no energy problems anymore, right? I might need to put permafrost on something. So any units gain eight additional damage. Uh, you do have multi-strike, so you go to 20. So you're doing 40 damage by yourself. Unless I have the ability to kill you in a back line, and uh, I do not. No, 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 I, I, I do apply saps to them. But, like, each sap is only the removal of four damage from you. And you're doing 40. As much as I want the extra money, I don't think I can take this. 
I actually think this would just shred my lines. Very glad to have gotten the God of the Unnamed here early, but it is worth noting that was not guaranteed to happen. I'll admit, we got a great opening here. But if we did not have this opening, life could have been awful. So I, I kind of had to play around that possibility. I mean, I can't really gem drove right now. Because Overgorger is drawn next turn, and unless I also draw the Space Prism, I can't just put these on the top floor. Uh, so I'm going to get more damage shields here on the bottom line, and then I think I'm actually just going to play these two out to die. Mm -hmm. There's the Overgorger. Still not going to get Trample on that top line for a bunch of turns, it feels like, as well. Uh, yikes, y'all. Yikes. And I'm just gonna get a bunch of triggers for lifesteal. Seems like it might be useful here. There we go, now we're encanting to give one another armor. Splits. Gem trove for even more. Magma, lifesteal, damage. Down here and then sack you. Great. I mean, I'm feeling a little better about this one now, but yeah, I seeing how close we lo uh, came to losing the Guard of the Unnamed that last turn. I I think I would have lost it and started to lose all of the rest of my units pretty quickly. Uh, had I taken the extra damage. In fact, I think I would have already lost it ages ago. Because the fact that we just got close means that we've been close for a while, right? To what the previous would have been had I... Uh, had I continued. That is, had I given them the extra damage from the challenge. Trample doesn't matter anymore, does it? Yeah, because if I ever kill the living armor, I've already won. Well. This is now just about how many different incan triggers I can get off. I guess I will still throw Trample onto you, but just so that I can say that I've done it at this point. God. Great. I really hope that I have a big damage spell coming up because we've got three helical crystals in the deck, but we haven't upgraded them. 
least I got a lot of spell weakness on you. Okay. Did draw the Helical Chrysalis and it is enough. But also, the Overgorger already is enough here. So if the Overgorger is by itself already enough, that means we have the ability to get it to eat a bunch of morsels for us. Yeah. I mean... Maybe it's all working out now. Apply Frozen to a card in your hand. Uh, oh, I might end up doing that. But I can't do that to just save a Helical Crystallis for that long. It has permafrost as well. Okay, never mind. I can I can use it near the very end. I think I do like pres I I haven't played with the preserve yet, but I think I love it. It's a weird way to uh, present that, but yeah, I, th I think I really really like it. I just haven't used it. Uh, extra energy. Energy is not really a problem for us anymore. Uh, cannibalize. Yeah, no, we have enough place to put all of the morsels that we currently generate. There are so many upgrades I would still love to see. You can play your third spell of the turn. All cards gain plus one magic power for the rest of the battle. Um, that's pretty significant. That's like, you know, a fair bit of magic power. Endless isn't good, though. Well, fine. I'm going to give the Overgorger a large stone here because I very scarcely have the ability to put enough things behind the Overgorger that that's necessary. Um, and if, if I can't get any other upgrades on it right now, I need to, need to fix out its health problem. Take a forgotten name. Hmm. That's one thing we can do. Is we can dupe the Lodestone Totem, put one of the Space Prisms in the midline... So that we can have Guardian Stone, Lodestone Totem, Lodestone Totem, Guard of the Unnamed, as well as the Tethys behind. Gives us twice as much sap. That said, the Overgorger still now only has one position behind them with the Space Prism. Uh, without the Space Prism, and rather four positions when I do have the Space Prisms out. And at that point in the game, we are relatively commonly playing Gem Trove. It feels like Helical Crystallis might be the dupe. No, I'm going for the sap. I want to see how this works out. The Seraph can purge buffs and debuffs. That's completely fine. We apply the uh, the debuffs on the turn that we use them, though. So it doesn't really affect us. Uh, let's go. Tethys. Overgorger. Pop a rubble morsel there. Space Prism. Okay. Gem Trove. That's enough. God, I'm gonna need some defense. Oof. Oh, both Lodestone Totems. That's a lot of defense. Good God, is that ever a lot of defense. But also, if I do just kill all of the enemies, that's pretty good defense too. Oh, thank heck, we drew a spell. I was really debating whether or not I was going to have to use Preserve there. Which 
just for the sake of having another spell cast for the encant triggers. Okay. Let's go Ember Cash. Space Prism on the top line. Frozen Lance. Actually, sorry, we should have used the Shade Splitters first. Because the Frozen Lances actually benefit from the extra spell damage. Great. Yeah, we don't have enough damage here on the top line. Yet. Very important to add that. Yet. Because now we do. And you know what? It's too early to take a Helicrook Castalis out of rotation here. I was about to do it, but I can't. Then we've already got our forgotten name off, so I can start throwing out spells. Do I need gem trove this turn? No, actually, it'd probably be just almost too much, even. So I don't use the activated ember here. We can just leave it for a later turn where we might actually need it because we were already completely covered on that turn. We've got a lot of these rubble morsels which aren't actually providing benefits. So we're only going to really want good morsels on that top line when we have the ability to do so. These rubble morsels are extra energy and the extra energy just isn't getting used. Okay. Well, frankly, I think it's time to freeze the bigger helical crystallis. As I said I was always going to be doing. Start throwing some morsels on the top lines. If we draw anything important, we do not. Throw the rest of them. Okay. So we need to play out as many spells as we possibly can here, then use Gem Trove. And then decide which of these will be most... I mean, literally all of the non-damage ones. It's easy. Yeah. I was thinking which of these will be the most useful on the top floor, but just all of the non-damage ones. It's There's no debate there. Okay. So now the important things we're looking for here are how many stacks of spell weakness we get on the boss. Which is working out real well so far. Fifty. Uh huh. Uh huh. Pretty sure that's yeah. That's already lethal. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see if we can get any other way uh, to form lethal here. No, even those morsels can't do it. Fine. Would a lesser Helical Crystallis do it? It would. Would Frozen Lance? Frozen Lance would actually put the enemy within range. But I have to go for the big number. So let's also cast this for the extra magic power. And then... Yeah, 
2,970 is uh, a pretty good contingency plan. <laughs> My contingency plans there were thousands of damage in different directions. Pretty, uh, pretty solid contingencies plans. Uh, contingencies plan, like, passes by. All right. Coming to rank 14 is minor bosses have increased health, and we also got preserve. Finally gave it the uh, the gold it was due. For the moment, though, my name is Rim Rhapsody, the name of the game has been Monster Train. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. There is a playlist in the description down below with all of my content on this game, past, present, and future. And hopefully we'll see you next time.